In this video, we summarise a basic drill for the applications of what are commonly and inaccurately referred to as blocks. This drill also looks at the use of hikate, or the pulling hand, machimi, which is sticking to and redirecting the enemy's limbs, as well as the use of stances and angles. The drill has the technique switch from one side to the other. This is deliberate as it affords the karateka the opportunity to repeatedly practice redirection and sticking. This also requires the karateka to constantly switch stance, which will aid the development of footwork as well as underlining the transitory nature of stances in application. This drill is not a fighting combination to be applied as is. Instead, it is a Q-level drill to promote the aforementioned skills as well as allow for time-efficient practice of the core techniques that comprise it. So this is a, a, a basic drill looking at the applications of knife hand, uh, agiyuki, kidamburai, sotoki, uchiuki and oizu. Okay, just put together in a way that enables us to practice limb control, a little bit of footwork, and this idea of machine or sticking to the drill. So we just go through the individual techniques first, right? So you've got the knife arm where we go on the outside, so we push the arm in, the forearm goes into the neck, okay? So that being the basic application. So we can practice that on its own, you know, so the idea being, you know, we're fighting away, I make contact with his arm in some way, I clear the arm and strike. And at least you be on with your next shot. Uh, that's the way it would be an application. As well as having an inside version, uh, 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 pushing the arm in. If he resisted by it in that way, he take the arm out. So on that one, I pull the arm this way, shoot it through here and strike there. So they, those two work in a pair. You've got an inside one and an outside one here, take the arm in or out. So the idea being, again, yeah, be there and straight over whatever the next technique was. The next thing we looked at was Gidambarai. And we were saying that in the cap, we do it at a 90 degree angle. So what we do is we do the technique, I grab the wrist, I put my hand up above his arm, and I step round at a 90 degree angle. On this side of so from there, that will happen. He'll drop his head down in line so I can step through and strike. Next one we did was the guy grabs, I put most of to grab on, I pin the hand, I strike in the arm with the hope of bending it and twisting the body a little bit and exposing the jaw so I can strike up with my forearm from here. And then again, you're always straight, straight on with the next strikes after that. Then look at Uchiki. Different styles call it sotoki. When I'm taking the arm from there, I'm striking against the back of the elbow joint. It's bang, pop. As we talked about, that'll turn the head so we can drive in with our, our next strike. Then again, we can do it off a grab or we can do it off a um, right at the wrist. Bend the arm here instead of striking at the jaw this time, we're coming down the other way. Just clubbing towards the base of the neck here. That being the kind of the, the other block. And then finally, we circle the arm over from there and we talk about oizuki. So the arms, let's take the arm out of the way and we step through an impact. So I'll be making impact halfway through the step. And the rest of this is all fall through, it's all big dry. So then with the individual techniques, and we'll put them end to end in the drill. So we'll walk through it slowly, so it's to the inside, and grab. Arm goes here, stick to it as I drive it round, arm moves straight to the elbow, push down and strike. Once my hand's here, I can feel where his arm is wristed. So we just turn around. From there, I'll just take the hand towards the elbow here, roll it over to take the head down. Arm goes underneath for the sake of our drill. I bring it round so it's in this little V here. Grab it, straight the forearm, straight the head. Switch my step as I come through and straight against the back of the elbow. Bring the arm back the other way, bend and strike in. Finally, big circle, step to the boys with me. Okay, that was the drill. So one more go. Our arms up from there, so we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, been, been the full drill. It's just a time efficient way to practice it. Very important to remember that the drill is just a drill. It enables us to practice footwork, angling, and controlling the arms while doing the bunkai for all those blocks. As I just you know, in application, it wouldn't be like that. Obviously, you know, because bang, it's straight with the next shot. If I'm doing noise hooking, the arms get cut, boom, it's straight with the next shot. You know, the, um, we're not saying you have to use them in those orders, it's just a drill that will allow you to practice it. Is that okay?